RBGFM, locals talking to locals. Our book reviewer and show reviewer, traveller expert, is Ralph McAllister. Good morning, Ralph. And good morning to you. It's, the rain has gone, the sun is out. Is that the same down in Kapiti or not? Uh, no, the, no sun today. And we didn't get a great deal ah. yesterday, to be quite honest. We just had a cold ah. southerly yesterday, but today, uh, not much wind, it's overcast. Oh, well, as I'm, I'm just, just getting to the end of my lovely time here, so I'm just trying to do... Um, a euphemism is polishing the freezer and that's a friend of mine who used to say I'd say you're busy and she'd say no I'm polishing the freezer meaning she was doing housework guess what I'm doing this morning (laughs) you'll have a housewife (laughs) nails before you come home won't you (laughs) oh yes no I've got to make sure people know I appreciate how kind they've been anyway on to the books Yes, I've got an absolute corker for your listeners today it's a paperback it's called Tin Man as in The Wizard of Oz, if you remember that wonderful movie, by a young woman called Sarah Winman, W-I-N-M-A-N. I I picked it up Saturday, did I, um, off the pile of books. I finished it at about 2 o'clock in the morning. I could not stop reading it. It was shortlisted for the Costa Novel Award, and... It's a story, a deeply sensitive and beautiful story about a threesome. These two men um, are child buddies, Ellis and Michael. They start growing up and they're inseparable. They uh, get on so well with each other. And then into their lives walks Anne and Anne, or Annie rather, and she becomes part of a wonderful trio uh, they do everything together, they get complications together, and finally, of course, one of them marries Annie, and it's the, the latter half of the book is about how the other half of the boy, uh, or Michael, adjusts to that arra- arrangement. It's a, it's a stunningly sensitive, tender romance, uh, insight into relationships, um, it's also short. It's not a long novel. It's totally accessible. I don't know if you remember the film last year, Call Me By Your Name, which was a great hit and almost won Oscars and so on. Um, it's a bit in that mood and genre, Nigel. Um, it's a love story with a difference. It's set uh, a great deal in Europe um, and London. And um, she's done three other books, one, neither of which, none of which I've read, When God Was a Rabbit. So I'm going to um, find that one, and, and that might be my search when I get back to, to Carpety. But yes. I do recommend this to people. It's um, totally accessible. As I say, a love story with a difference and beautifully written. That's why it was nominated for the Costa, because uh, it's not just a, a sort of Tweedledum sort of, you know, yes. sort of nonsense. Yeah, sure. It's a very insightful. And um, it's probably, you'll probably hear about it again, if I'm still talking to you or you're listening to me, at the end of the year, because at the moment it's very high on my list of book of the year. Uh, but of course, we're only, where are we? We're not halfway through yet, are we? Almost. Almost, um, yes. But uh, Sarah, is it S-A-R-A-H or S-A-R-A? Sorry, say that again? It's Sarah. Oh, S-A-R-A-A-H. Oh, right. Yeah. Age, okay. Yeah. And, um, and of course, it's set, as I said, a lot, mostly in one of my favourite beautiful cities where I spend years in Oxford. So um, every every little turning, I know where they are. And oh, so on. right. Yeah. That might have prejudiced me a little bit, but not much. No. Apart from that, the only other thing I've done is I went to see a play the other night and finished up at the Symphony Orchestra concert. And I was actually terribly pleased because. It was in the old town hall. It was the Planet Suite by Halston, the beautiful rendition of the Tchaikovsky Rococo variations by a Chinese, young Chinese cellist. And the place was absolutely packed. And um, I just 
reminded myself yet again like the beautiful live orchestra with over a hundred people playing um, the silences the the applause it just made me realize i better start coming back to a bit of concert going as well as marooning myself here and reading 12 books in a week sort of <laughs> oh, you've had a wonderful time it's the old town hall i don't know when that was built but it's, it's been there for many years isn't it it's, it's it's almost a replica of the wellington town hall nigel it's, and it's been beautifully restored and of course the sound as is in the old wellington one the sound is second to none it's just wonderful yes. particularly for an orchestra all right ralph well tin man by sarah winman is one to yep. uh, it's a paperback get it out have a good read and I haven't got the price because this was a, a proof copy, but um, I should think it would be about $30. So it's well within the range of a lot of people. But otherwise, get down to your local library and put your name down and demand that they go get it for you. What an interesting title for your next book, though. When God Was a Rabbit, oh, yeah. was it? <laughs> well, um, you know, it's, uh, I'd like to go on about the other books I've read but I'll try and keep some of them for next week. Good day. Thanks Ralph. Ralph McAllister up in my hickey. 106.3 BGFM.